A pallet is pretty much the same thing as a submaster. But if you have a look on our hardware here, um, that's where this particular console comes into its own because it's got its, its pallet array here ready to use. So for the purposes of, of demonstration, if you're having a look at this console, um, I'm just going to type 1 through 10 at full and I'm going to record that into group 1 or group A as it says. These are labelled A through Y so there's 25 keys there. So I had to hit group first because it wasn't previously selected. We're going to do, uh, in this case we'll go 70 through 79 at full. Those are the lights, they're all delted on the screen. You can see that the little triangles are, are, are sitting there and those lights are selected. We're going to, um, back on the console, you'll see I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is hit record and pop that into that location which was position 1. And uh, it's recorded the deltas into that location. So now when I release it all, and you have a look at the screen, when I hit um, that position 1, it just selected 70 through 79. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a console with this palette, what you're actually going to use is this thing. This is the same thing, but it's a virtual palette, all right? And you can get to all four of the various different banks of, of buttons by clicking there. Um, and uh, I'll just move this out of the way slightly and you can see that if I click on it um, it selects it and and the window goes away so the idea is that uh, you can bring up the window click on it and it selects it very very simple I should show you how to bring this little uh, this little dialog box up because uh, I've done it a couple of times now and every time I've done it, I thought you know what I should probably actually show you how to do that uh, on this particular console, uh, if you just come back to the console view here, you'll see that there's these three buttons here with an arrow up, a word view, and an arrow down. The view button will bring up that display for whichever of the, um, the things is selected. So I've got group, position, colour, go, uh, gobo, and other. Okay, what they've done there is they've, they've split um, gobo, uh, sorry, the other page into gobo and other as far as the buttons are concerned. And that is primarily so that um, as you do it, if you have a look at the screen there, I'll just uh, hit the different things. What it's doing is it's jumping between the gobo control and the lens control. So they've done it in this particular instance on the hardware so that um, you can uh, instantly grab it. But the as far as the, uh, the display is concerned, uh, what we can do, if you have a look at the hardware, I'm going to hit group and then I'm going to hit view and then on the display you'll see that it's popped up the, um, the group uh, window. So that's how you do it on this particular console. On other consoles, okay, so jump back to the hardware, you only have this much of the desk, alright? You don't have all of these wonderful buttons for whatever reason, um, but you've got these buttons and you want to be able to bring up that same display. What you need to be able to do, it's, it's part of the tools function. So you might recall a little while ago, I said, okay, to bring up the tools, you hit shift and then hit the tools button as well, okay? And what that does uh, on the screen is that it, it brings up the, uh, the tools display. Now I'm just going to move, because there's two different windows on this tools display, I just hit S12 to show you the, S, uh, the, the main uh, part of the tools window, you'll see on one through four there, it says group, position, color, other. Well, that's how you bring up those, um, those windows. So if I go, okay, tools, and I want hit S1, there it is. Okay, and because that is the last tool I have just recently selected, all I now have to do to bring it up, if you have a look at the hardware, all, I only have to do one thing and that's hit the tools button and it comes straight back up again. Alright. Likewise, shift tools, uh, you know what, I want position now and there it is, great and uh, I can bring that up anytime I like just by hitting the tools button. Okay. Now, uh, you may want to record levels into your um, palettes 
in which case when you bring up your window, I'll just pin that into place, the first time you click it, it selects it, the second time you click it, it brings it up to a level. And the level that it brings it to is the level that we recorded it in um, when we originally recorded that, um, that palette. Okay? Very, very simple. So we can very easily grab a bunch of lights, send them to full, and record them into... I've, all I've done is hit the record button. I'm now going to hit um, the B position. And you can see the command line has actually changed. Record Delta Group Look 2. Likewise, we can go uh, select all of these lights, send them to full, and record um, three. Okay, so you can very simply do all of this this kind of recording of groups and things like that. If you don't have the um, the the uh, the 25 button array, um, if you have a look at the hardware here. Um, you might recall early on I talked about this group button that's here. I can still actually record exactly the same kind of thing. So let's say we wanted to record group uh, 96 uh, through 100 at full. I can go record and hit the group key and then it's doing exactly what you expect on the command line here on the display. It's saying uh, record live group 4. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I want it to do. Brilliant. And likewise, you can sit there and record all of your different groups of lights so that later on you can grab lights as you need to and um, take them up and down. 